we're going to start with Cristela Garcia of the United States of America. And more Brazilian interest here, Diane Silva de Almeida. So now they've got to start all over again, that crowd. Silva de Almeida, second in Beijing, fifth in London. This lady leading us out here, seventh in London. And just missed out on a medal at the World Championships in 2010. So both of these fighting for third place at the Paralympic Games here in Brazil. It's a great opportunity for them. Garcia of the United States will be in white. Silva de Almeida will be in blue. Each of the athletes is escorted out, brought back to the middle, and there they have to grip up, waiting for the start of the contest. Well, they're in great form now, aren't they? <laughs> Brazil, Brazil. See the red spot on Garcia on her sleeve means that she is B1 classification, has no sight. Looking for the inside grip there, Garcia. Accidentally touched the legs there, not allowed to touch the legs below the belt line, not in defense. Attack. The only time you can do it is if both of you are in a groundwork situation, you're both judged to be in groundwork. So you can't do it from standing, so you've got to be very, very careful that your hand doesn't slip down and brush against the legs. One of the main points of discussion after the Olympics and Paralympic Games is to whether to allow certain things that touch the legs back. What we don't want is rugby tackles of any kind. Trying to teach the basic principles of throwing from an upright posture. Oh, look at that, she's taken her down, Wazari scored. Silva takes her down. Harai Makikomi. She had the sleeve and she wound herself round there. And Di Almeida is now ahead. What support she has. So a massive score, a Wazari on the board. Almost an Ippon, not quite. Anything that rolls onto the points of the shoulders isn't an Ippon, can't be. It has to have a little bit of lift to it. Now can she turn her? Is she going to turn her into a hold down? Garcia turns onto a front. You've got to turn them onto their back and you cannot have any kind of contact with the legs. So a Shido as well to Garcia. She hasn't attacked.
So nice judo here from Silva de Almeida. Is she going for the strangle? She might just have it. She might be underneath the neck. If she's underneath the neck there, she might be using the jacket to apply pressure. If it goes across the throat or across the neck, she can get the submission, and it's very, very close. Credit, though, to Garcia. She held off. Four-minute contest for the ladies. Well, I've got to say, she looks very cool, calm and collected. Almeida has a good posture as well. Ah, that was close as well. She went across again. Can she force her over onto her back? Credit to Garcia, she's fighting hard here. Just over halfway. Looking for the opening all the time. She really is trying to get the line of attack. Nice upright judo. Oh, my goodness me, did she make a mistake? Olsai Komi, and the American has got her in a hold down here. Cristela Garcia is now holding her down, and that was a big mistake there by Silva de Almeida, because she was starting to come up. She was dominating the contest completely, and, well, you just cannot sit back and hope, because that was a massive mistake, and Garcia has just won the bronze medal there. That was a terrible mistake. Credit to the American, though, she never gave up. Big shout, USA there, and no doubt about that, she did very, very well there, she really did. Got thrown for a Wazari, she was down all the way through the match, and she just fought her heart out. Well, Silva de Almeida can't believe it, she cannot believe it, it all went away from her. Well, it's her first medal at the Paralympic Games, but it really was a terrific effort. She fought and she fought. She wasn't going to be beaten on the ground, and then, well, an opportunity came, she took it. Truly amazing, that really was. It was a great performance, it was pure heart.